Hey everyone, it's Tech Dad here. So I am very excited to show you this new thing that I have discovered that my iPad Pro can do. I've been using my iPad Pro as a fully functioning PC for a little over a week now, and it's pretty darn awesome. So I use my iPad Pro as my only computing device. I don't own a Mac, I don't own a PC. Been doing this for about seven months now, and I absolutely love it. However, there is some functionality that is missing, and so I really wanted to get that desktop functionality at times on my iPad Pro, but I didn't really want to spring for an entirely new computer. I really just want to have all my computing needs available on one device for work, personal teaching, and all the other things. And this is a little embarrassing to say, but the main reason I wanted a computer is because I love playing Warcraft Classic. They just launched the 20th anniversary edition, and so I really wanted to get in on that, but you can't play that on the iPad. So I did some digging, and I found an app that turns your iPad into a fully functioning PC. It's awesome. It works exactly as advertised. So in this video, I want to show you what this app is, how it works, and my experience with it. All right, let's get into it. All right, so remember back in the day when the iPhone first came out around 2007, 2008, and there was this commercial that always says there's an app for that. Well, this is true in this case as well. There is an app that will allow you to turn your iPad into a PC, and it's called Shadow PC, and so I ran across this just looking at all sorts of cloud computing solutions. I've been doing some Xbox gaming on the Xbox gaming cloud service, and I thought, man, if you don't need an Xbox to play Xbox games, do you need a PC to play PC games? And the answer is no, you don't need your own PC. So Shadow PC, sort of lets you rent a PC from the cloud. I chose a subscription that's $20 a month and it gives me a basic PC with basic components, which is more than enough to run Warcraft Classic. So the basic version starts at $19.99 a month and it gives you 256 gigs of storage on a PC, a basic processor, and six gigs of RAM. And so this is plenty enough stats for me. However, they do have higher subscriptions. If you really wanna get a tough gaming PC in the cloud, you can do that. And it works just like you would think it does. So maybe some of you have used remote desktop apps before and I've tried those on iPad and they're usually pretty clunky and connections aren't exactly great and you have to own a Mac or a PC to connect to a remote desktop. Well not in this case. The PC is just provided for me which is what I love and I could subscribe to this thing for years before it would add up to the cost of a MacBook or even a decent PC. So let's talk about what's good with this experience. So first of all it functions exactly like it should. When you pull up Shadow PC and start running your PC on your iPad it just works. The keyboard instantly works with it, the trackpad works with it. If I connect other accessories to it, like my Apple Studio display, it actually works. And you can even dual monitor with this app. So I've got two monitors running, the iPad display and the external display all at once. I mean, it's full PC functionality. My studio display speakers and camera also work automatically. It just flows. It's just so awesome to see this app pull up and everything just works as expected. I actually even have a gaming mouse that I used to use with an old PC I had, and I connect this to my iPad, the PC reads it works awesome it's got over 14 buttons on it you can set those up in world of warcraft to do their thing i mean i'm pretty impressed that the hardware just works automatically on this and the experience of streaming just looks fantastic so i was sitting in panera bread the other day and somebody walked past and said are you playing warcraft on an ipad and i was like yep sure am and they said how are you doing that and why does it look so awesome and that's because it's on apple hardware so i have the m4 ipad pro and it has the new oled display and everything just looks fantastic on it you're not going to find that good of a display in almost any other laptop computer out there, PC or Mac. So you've got this awesome Apple hardware with the excellent display that the iPad Pro has and the iPad Pro keyboard, which is MacBook quality. So it's pretty awesome to combine the two technologies of Windows and Apple hardware. So those are my pros. There are a few cons that go with this so far as I've been playing around with it for about a week. I did notice that if I connect external storage to my iPad, the PC doesn't pick it up. So if I've got some files that I want to manage on a thumb drive, it doesn't look like it's going to happen, at least from what I'm playing around with so far. I'll keep messing around with it and let you know if there's a change. It also can be a bit laggy if connection is bad. So sometimes my home internet is just not the greatest and so when that happens things run a little clunky obviously you're streaming this PC so you gotta have good internet or things aren't gonna work out but if the internet is good if you have a strong connection you're streaming that PC in at 4k and you can tell the third thing I notice is in Warcraft classic when you're clicking around with the mouse sometimes the mouse syncing can get a little off or become disconnected it's just a little annoyance not that big of a deal usually just restarting the app or maybe even the iPad fixes the problem but for what I'm trying to do here with having a PC just built into my iPad automatically, I think it's running really well. So yeah, if you're wanting PC functionality on your iPad Pro, give this company Shadow PC a try. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to play around with it a little bit more, let you know what I think of it in the next few weeks to a month. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.